Brian has this program that he bought years ago. All this time. I How many years ago did you purchase this? Program. A long time ago. All this time he's had it. What's it called? The EPC for Windows 98. Solitaire. Yeah. <laughs> Everything is Toyota Corolla. So I'll use this no, one. No, yeah, do the one. So this is your. That's my frame number. And it comes up as production date. Close of that works. March. March. So yeah, the frame number was correct. Fascinating. Yeah. So this the program, program files of this. Gone. The program should list. It lists oh. how many were made. So if we get into it's the back. Yeah. yeah. So we actually found the exact A86 numbers. Having the actual Toyota database, which Dougie purchased many years ago, means that we can pull the official numbers. The Toyota parts catalog is able to give us frame numbers and dates of manufacture, much like the Russian and Japanese website. I scabbed the program files from Dougie and unzipped the folder. In there I had a scan and I found a file that looked promising. It read frame number .dat. I decided to open that up with text edit and have a look through the string of text and try find A86. I took the line of text and imported it into Word, spacing out all the letters and digits to their chassis codes and years. At the end we got 285,596 for the first batch of A86 numbers. This is exactly how many were made in the A plant or the Tahara plant according to the Russian table. The same was done with the second batch. Spaced them all out and this gave us 79,272 which also lined up with the Russian table. If you're confused and uh, you're wondering what we're talking about, go back and watch the A86 production number video we made two episodes ago. That'll bring up the speed on what exactly we're talking about here. We can add the 79,272 and the 285,596 which gives us the original total of 364,868 which is the official number recorded by Toyota. Looking at the back end of this program we figured out that the A85 also had its own frame count. I mistakenly added these to the A86 frame count in the original episode. By separating the text just like we did with the A86 we figured out that they made 38,461 A85s in the A plant and 40,317 in the end plant. Added they give us 78,778 total A85s ever produced. Which is pretty understandable considering the A86 would have been the more desirable car. That low number at A85 makes you wonder how many of them are actually still in existence today. That's pretty cool. We were actually right about the 364,868 A86s ever manufactured. And we know that this is the exact figure now because we've taken these numbers from the Toyota parts CD database that Brian had just been keeping from me all this time. So now you know that is the official number of A86s ever produced and the Russian website was right all along and now we've confirmed this and I just want to add this to this video before we started because it's a new bit of information and it's kind of exciting genuine stuff from Toyota 364,868 A86s ever made yeah nerd out progress it's just a word right yeah it is just a word see you and T and see you later and see you later <laughs> Yeah, so we're cleaning all the rusty nonsense. It's been an ongoing process. Please. <laughs> Trying to get him shiny, but... Uh, not shiny. Not shiny, but not rusty. And uh, we've... Well... Dougie has stripped down... It's funny, I, sometimes I call you Brian and sometimes I call you Dougie. It must Just be really, really people. confusing for everyone. But uh, he's torn this stuff down because it's getting vapor blasted. The car has become... Same as it always was. Same as it always is. It's a, a year and a bit now. Just stuff stored on it. It's actually nearly a yeah, full year since it's looked like this. It's, it's got pretty a much like Dan's. sombrero on it. It's full of shit. It literally looks like, yeah, just the same as it was in Dan's. It just needs a roller shut door across yeah, the back. Bunch of shit on the back of it. The engine is more complete than it was the last time in the video. Josh done the manifold and some stuff has been added. Water pump, oil pump. The throttle. The bodies. ITBs. ITBs are getting vapor blasted Saturday are you, as well. Are you going to be running ITBs with the ITBs? Dude, I'm going to run ITBs with the ITBs. <laughs> Individual I know that. Oh, for fuck's Whoa. sake, run And the final stage on these is... Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. That's just all the camera equipment, Dan. Smell a singe.
The final stage on the pulleys is flame grilled. Because it has a preservation act. 1972. Take off your hat for a sec. <laughs> again. Yeah, everything again. <laughs> again. Or to a crisp. <laughs> And uh, we're getting this stuff sandblasted. So, ITBs and the outside of my starter mower, which is super crusty. So, we got a new machine which vapor blasts stuff and it comes out pretty much better than new. Look at this shit, it's incredible. So, We're gonna blast this stuff here now in a second. Blast the crust off it, and hopefully they will be like this. Water on this, uh, it's, a, it's a glass bead. Okay, so it's like the blasting then. Yeah, only for it's a, a finer. Wow, I just thought it was just high pressure water. That's actually, yeah. all right. Interesting, yeah. it's almost like fucking sugar or something. Yeah. Wow, and it just shoots that them a water, it just water, cuts yeah. it. Yeah, and that's what polishes it. Fuck. I can't get over it, I've never actually seen it up close. Yeah, it does come down, I can't see them. I have to I'll say you're after blasting some stuff, like. Uh, <laughs> a good bit, yeah, a fair bit of stuff. Now, there's that's something there nearly every week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's the last time the ITVs will look like that. Yeah. These look incredible. Long way away from sitting in Dan's garden. They literally look like new. Probably better than factory. Holy shit, like. Incredible. get that like off anything else. No, I don't think so, no.
before this one finishes up, I just want to give a massive shout out to Nigel and the guys at Ace Motor Factors. Um, if you're in Ireland and you're looking for stuff to be vapor blasted or if you want to get stuff sandblasted, I'll leave a link in the description below that you can contact Ace. Ace have sandblasted my car and then Nigel was kind enough to vapor blast all these parts for me and um, yeah, they've really helped me out with this build so massive shout out to Ace Motor Factors. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. I'm going to try to keep this weekly thing up. Yeah, See you next week. Cheers. Goodbye.